Big update from DeepSeek as we have a new DeepSeek version 3 update, also known as DeepSeek 0324. Some people are calling it DeepSeek version 3.1, and it is one of the best non reasoning models out there right now. So you can see the benchmarks here. This is a tweet from Zeofarm, and I'm going to show you exactly how to get free access to it, plus how it performs from my own test today. But you can see here that it is actually performing much better versus the previous version. So these are the benchmarks. This is the new version of DeepSeek, DeepSeek v30324. And this is the old version, which is DeepSeek Chat. Now, some people are actually comparing it to Claude 3.7 Sonnet, which I'll be doing as well. And this was just announced a few hours ago. Now, if you actually go to the DeepSeek website, you can get access to this for free. And also, I'll be showing you how to get a free API key from DeepSeek v30324. That is a bit of a mouthful, to be honest with you. But we're going to go through this step by step, and I'll show you exactly how to use it, plus what it means. How, you know, how is this different? So, essentially, if you want to get started with this, you can go to deepseek.com. Then you can go to start now, and you get access right here. Also, it's available inside LM Arena. So, for example, if we go to lmarena.ai, then we go to direct chat and from here we're going to select deep seek all right so just type deep seek here and you'll see deep seek v3 0324 selectable in the drop down right there right and then you can start chatting with it and giving it prompts the other way and this is probably my preferred way right now you can actually get a free api key and you can use the chat directly inside open router and this is free to use as you can see there is a paid version as well but if you want to use it completely for free, then you can use it that way too. And I'll show you some of the creations that we've made of it in a second. Now, the other problem right here is that because the DeepSeek website is updating, the server comes back busy quite often. So I've done a few prompts with it today. I'll show you what I've created and what I think of it so far versus how it's performing. So you can see here, for example, the server is busy. Please try again later. I think it's been flooded with people using it and also when these AIs are typically updated, usually beta and they're quite buggy anyway. So let's get straight into it and we'll start running through the new update. So let me show you an example of what we actually built here. I'm going to pull this up for you so you can have a cheeky gander. So what I've said is build out an amazing keyword research tool in HTML with room to insert Google AI API keys to generate responses, make it modern and super useful, right? So I wanted to try and create like a SaaS tool on the fly. I will say it was quite slow when I was trying to test it out. Now, if we scroll down and we look, it's created the code, which is awesome. The other thing that I like about this is when you're using tools like DeepSeek, Claude is the same as well. It has this artifacts feature, so you don't have to run the HTML code externally or preview it. You can just click run HTML. This tool actually works pretty well. As an example of this, we're just going to pull this up and I'm going to grab an API key. I'm going to grab a free one from... AI Studio, Google AI Studio, and then we can plug this into our tool, right? So I'm going to go here. This is the AI powered keyword research tool. They've even named it Keyword Genius. It looks fairly nice to be fair, similar to what something that Claude would do. And then we'll click generate. And from here, it's generate the responses, right? And we could download this CSV, Excel. We've got the generated keywords. It's got some ideas for keywords down here as well with the competition scores, the percentages cost per click, etc. I wouldn't trust the data that much, but you get the idea. And you can switch between like question keywords, long tail keywords, or normal keywords as well, which is super useful. And yeah, just created like a really easy SaaS tool in one minute. Also, you can plug in an API key. So I did this earlier inside the chat. You can just grab an API key, plug it in there, hit save settings, boom shakalaka. We can start generating stuff using this, right? Really easy to do. And let's see if this works. I'm going to put dentist here as well. Just to customize it and test like, okay, is this actually working? So you see here, generates the keywords with AI. And then, yeah, we've got a bunch of ideas for keywords right here. So pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Create a SaaS software basically perfectly first time round. Also, when I try and do this stuff with Bolt.new, it quite often breaks. That's why I don't really use those tools anymore. Whereas with DeepSeek v3.0324, it just did its magic straight off the bat. Pretty powerful stuff. And if we keep going through here, this is an article I wrote with DeepSeek. So basically use this prompt, quite a detailed prompt on how to create content, etc. Put in some source context about me. And then if we have a look at the output here, so it's created an SEO optimized article with the keyword front loaded inside the title. 
The article itself reads pretty nicely. It's also got a CTA with a link directly to my page. And bear in mind, this is free, right? There doesn't seem to be a limit on this. If you were comparing it to something like Claude 3.7, Claude 3.7 is awesome for writing content. But the problem is it does have a limit, right? And if you want to upgrade, then you have to spend $20 a month, which is not affordable for everyone watching this. Whereas, for example, inside DeepSeek, DeepSeek.com, you just go in, it's completely free. You don't need to worry about anything. You've got all your chat history back here. And then you can get straight into it, right? And it actually writes pretty nice content. Like you can see, pretty easy to read. And also, like it customizes the content to us. It's, it's fairly humanized and that sort of thing, but not bad at all. All right, next up, what I did was I asked it to create an SEO cost calculator with a modern design. As you can see right here, so we've got the HTML code back. And let's open this up. So run the HTML. This one was okay. Not bad. It's not as modern as I would like it, to be honest with you. But let's check if it works. So I'm going to click on the drop downs, select an option right there. And you can see it works perfectly. So it's calculated the cost. Nice little tool to use. You could easily embed that onto your website, customize it to whatever industry you're in. And pretty simple and easy. Now, the other way that you can use this, like I was saying, is you can go over to the chat room inside Open Rotor. And then you can use the chat here. And I've actually got better outputs from this, quite surprisingly, right? So, for example, if we go to LiveWeave and we test out the HTML. So I said, create a beautiful landing page from SEO agency. Kept it really simple. There's nothing really fancy about that prompting style or anything like that. And that's one of the things I do like about this model is like you don't have to go overboard in terms of the prompting. And if we grab the HTML, so we'll copy that. And again, this is free. So you're using DeepSeek V3 the free version inside Open Router. And if we go over here, we'll plug in the code and we have that back. It's actually looking pretty nice. Look at that. Let's pull this up. Nice little design right there. Gradiated, gradiented background. Includes all the information about us. Added some testimonials here and did it really quickly as well. Pretty powerful stuff there. Pretty easy to use. Didn't take long at all. And you can get access for free. And I would say it's at the similar level. The only problem that I'm finding is deep sea server is going to get overloaded and then you can't use it. You can also go to hugging face, hugging face, have an option to use deep seek and the new version of it as well. So that's another option. And let me show you some of the other things and what people are saying about it. So let me pull this up. It's deep seek. So someone actually created a app. Like you can see right here, kind of interactive animation, which is pretty nice. And then I did see a 3JS code game. Here we go. Yeah, so this is the new DeepSeek model. And this actually compares all three models. So this is a tweet from Dipanshu, who says, O3 Mini looked good initially, but it didn't get the physics right. But DeepSeek, with its new V3 update, actually gives a better output, right? So if we open this up, Let's see what we got here. So DeepSeek, DeepSeek R1, and O3 Mini. And you can see that DeepSeek's physics here, in terms of the modeling, are much smoother, much nicer in terms of the output. So really interesting to see that as well. Considering O3 Mini is a much more advanced model, and it's an O3, and it's a reasoning model, right? That's the other thing to know about this. Here's another example. So this looks like an app someone's built for the weather, which looks pretty cool. Someone built a 3JS game over here. Look at that. That's pretty crazy, to be fair, that you can build that. You can see it's just one big prompt. So you can see the prompt here. Let's have a look what we got. Make a cool 3JS game. That was all it gave it. And it just went off and did its magic. That is wild. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. So, you know, you can code with it. You can create content with it. It's completely free to use. Here's another game that was built with it. So this is some sort of like missile game. Look at that, 3D as well. Let's go on to Open Router and we'll just test this out. So I'm gonna try the same prompt here. We'll say, create a cool 3JS game. We'll see if DeepSeek is working directly as well, but before when I tested it, it was not working after a few tests. So you see how it takes so long to respond here? It actually looks like it's coming up with it now, but we'll see what it comes up with. And it's creating the JavaScript. Inside Open Router, it's just broken completely. Look at that. 3JS game. I'm going to say, okay. Code it in HTML. Ah, I see. So it's thinking about it. I'm just going to go back and then 
we'll test that again. So you can see here, it's still not perfect, right? Nobody's going to show you this on YouTube. I just want to be 100% transparent. Like, it's cool. It can create some amazing stuff, but it does break. And you do have to go back and forth with it a little bit inside the chat here. You see how slow it is as well? So it keeps lagging a little bit. But that's to be expected with a brand new sort of feature and update that's coming out. So let's get it to see, uh, create a 3JS game in HTML now. We'll see what we get back in a sec. Open router is still coding it. And also, if you want to use this inside, for example, like Visual Studio Code or something like that. So you can use a free API. If you download Visual Studio Code, just Google it and you can download it. And then from here, you can type in Klein. And Klein have just updated this with the new API. So if you go into your settings here, and then I believe, let's just have a look here. Yeah, so if we go to Open Router, and then inside Open Router, we should be able to use DeepSeek 0324. So you see here, it's got DeepSeek, chat, v3, 0324, and then it's completely free. So we can use it like so. We can hit done. And then we'll just test this out. I might have to set up a new API key, but we're just going to test it out. So I'm going to say, okay, create an SEO 3JS game. We'll see if that works. In the meantime, we'll switch back, see what we got back from the chat. Yeah, so you can see it's coding out here in DeepSeek and the new version. So it's pretty awesome. When you think about it, it's crazy that Number one, you can get access to DeepSeek, but number two, it's completely free. Whether you're using the API, whether you're automating, whether you're building AI agents, etc., you can do this all for free with Open Router and the free API key. And then if you don't want to use the API key, you can just go straight back to DeepSeek or into Open Router chat room and just make sure you select the right API key here. What you can also do is like you can compare them side by side, right? So for example, if we wanted to use Claude 3.7 Sonnet and just compare them side by side. You can do it like that, right? Pretty simple and easy. So let's run this HTML now and see if it actually works. Here we go. That's the game that we just created in one prompt. I'm not even sure what you're meant to do here, <laughs> but it looks pretty cool to be fair. To create that in, oh yeah, you meant to collect the rings. There you go. All right, so collect the pink rings here. 3D game works perfectly in one shot. You can't argue with that. And that's just not even testing the boundaries of it, right? DeepSeek just mocked that up in one go. It's, here you go, mate. You want your game? Here you go. It's probably better than most Mega Drive games back in the day. So really simple and easy to do. Pretty powerful for coding. It can write games. It can create beautifully designed websites. If the server is not working inside DeepSeek.com directly, then just go to Open Router Chat Room or you can go inside client and use the API key directly here. Bye boy, you're good to go. Pretty simple and easy. And that's exactly how you can use it. I honestly, from what I can see, especially with that last 3JS game, like that's looking better than Claw 3.7 Sonnet or probably about the same, right? Usually as well, 3.7 Sonnet, like it runs out of tokens and then you have to regenerate the code or it doesn't work properly, etc. But this has just gone off and done it perfectly, right? You see it even worse when it says game over. Pretty cool. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all of my best prompts, tips, workflows, AI agents, automations for email content, social media, AI agents, and you want to make more money with AI as well as save hundreds of hours of AI, then feel free to get that AI Profit Boardroom community link in the comments and description. If you go to the SAP section, You'll see all of my best latest SAPs. This is all the stuff we've added this month. Prices are actually going up this month. So make sure you sign up now and lock in your legacy price. And also, it comes with weekly Q&A calls. So you can jump on the weekly Q&As and ask us any questions. And then also inside the community, if you have any questions or you get stuck between the Q&A calls, you can post inside the community and get help from 530 people who are all focused on making more money and saving time with AI. So it's an awesome community, constantly getting updated, loads of cool stuff in there. And you can sign up, link in the comments and the description. Also, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to get that link in the comments and description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free custom tailored link building game plan so you can generate more leads, sales and profits to your website. 
you'll discover the secret SEO link and you can ask us any questions you have and you'll learn how to 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you can see right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. I appreciate you watching.